Hi friends, greeting from Anamol Laboratories Private Limited. I thought we will start a new topic called how we control the quality or what is the concept of quality control in Anamol Laboratories and its products. As I say, the concept of quality control in Anamol is basically a holistic feature. We control the quality as a circle. This is a Japanese concept, quality circle. That means from the beginning till the end. What is the beginning? A concept of product quality or product design till the results you get at the customer premises for the patient. Is the entire process where the quality is controlled. Okay, let's see the step by step how we control the quality. The step number one, as I said, this is a quality circle which is in the actually a mindset of the company. It starts with the inputs. Inputs like you have raw material as an input, you have packaging material as an input, you have a quality control sera which are doing a daily quality of the product. These are the three inputs. Apart from the man, these three. Let's see what is the quality control we do at the raw material stage. At the raw material, we have a basic concept of controlling quality is its brand, its make and the supplier. Why we say brand, make and supplier? Because supplier controls the condition in which the raw material reaches to us. The brand and make makes the specification of the raw material which is suitable for the formulation. Similarly, as packaging material is concerned, the packaging material is again important. There are two types of packaging material, primary packaging material and secondary packaging material. Primary packaging material is actually a material which directly comes in contact with the reagents, okay, like our bottles, etc. So these have to be controlled by the supplier of the brand and make and construction material exactly which is suitable for the product. Then next is quality control sera. Now these are most important ones because quality control sera which meant which trace the results of or output parameters of the product which is to be controlled with the methodology and uh, what we call the source standard reference material etc etc so these quality control sera are should be of the reputed brand and well accepted by the market then comes is once you have this quality in the raw material and packaging material and its quality checking material what comes next is the formulation designing okay this formulation designing of all these reagents is well controlled by the design and development department at the very onset of idea every product which comes into the existence in anamol actually goes through design and development process where there is a whole lot of documentation is done as a dnd file history design history file so these formulations are designed in a way that the quantity and quality of material gets regulated by that and also the designs of the product like the presentation whether it is in the liquid form whether it is in the dry powder form whether in the rapid test formulation whatever is the presentation to the finally to the customer is the way this design is been frozen so there is a standardization at the formulation and design and Next comes is the process through which these formulations are made. Okay, there is a process standardization protocol completely designed for yielding the quality of a product every now and then. Okay, these processes control the way the environment happens, the way the instrumentations are used for designing and dispensing and filling, etc. The way the labels are designed, the contents of the labels on the material on which this has been printed, the, the basic design of the label information, etc. All these processes, that means the formulation till the printing, the packing, filling and assembly of the product, including IPQC that is in process quality control all these are the part of this process standardization and none of the step which is in this process standardization is deviated from the sop which are designed for the process okay the next comes is after all these things is been done what comes out is the products which has certain features and certain characteristics okay let's talk about the features of the product feature is basically a presentation whether it is a liquid form, whether it is a two reagent system, whether it is single liquid, whether it is to be reconstituted by the customer, these are the features. 
and characteristics of the product is basically what is the linearity which you will obtain, what is the sensitivity of the results which you will obtain, what is the precision value which you will obtain out of this and apart from that there are interfering substances which have been designed and characterized that this is the stability, this is the interference studies, this is the precision value, this is the accuracy value. These are all the characteristics of the product which are as a result of this input control, formulation control and design control, then the process control which results into the features and characteristics that is performance characteristics of the product. Now comes what is most important, the most important part is the accuracy of the results which the product gives. Now accuracy as a concept we have covered in many other videos. Accuracy means the results of the product for a patient analysis gives true or closest to the true value. Okay. Now what is the true value? There is a quality control CIRA which we are obtaining and these quality control CIRA when they align to the standard reference material traceability and the values SD, CB, mean, etc. all have been covered separately in other things. But if these control CIRA values meet and the accuracy is guaranteed in the product. Importantly also very very important aspect is that the product which is designed not for just one day. It is designed for two full years of shelf life of the product or less or more depending upon the parameter. But every time whenever you do the test you should get of the control CIRA which is fresh available and reproducibility of the results. That means the results on the day one till the day last if stored properly should give you the results which are absolutely accurate and close to each other. Okay. Now apart from this the quality doesn't end just by doing this process. The entire process of quality it should be traceable when there is a regulatory requirement comes into the picture. So you need to produce the documents proving this quality. These documentations are most important. These documents are governed not only from the drug and cosmetic rule but by ISO 13485 and also from the customer's requirement that we should be able to prove and produce the documentation of the results obtained, the process followed, the raw material used, the packaging material used, the people involved, the time, date, etc. Everything is mentioned in this documentation of the proving quality traceability. These documentations cover formulations which are in the form of MFR that is master formula records. Okay. And not only is the formulation, even the final kit which is assembled in all components which is presentable to the customer is the process. So master process report that is the batch process report by BPR. These are the two documents MFR and BPR. They cover the entire master documentation of the formulation. Hence the quality is traceable from manufacturing onward till the expiry of the product. Thank you very much friends. I hope I have been very clear about it. Thank you.